The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This topic that we are going to discuss today, it's very important. Everything that God has created, the enemy always comes along trying to contradict everything that God said in his word. Notice what it says here. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I know everybody know this verse. But what they don't see is when you go to school, your scientist tells you that the universe was created. There's no word universe in the Bible. There's no word planets in the Bible. The only thing you see is heavens, which is above us. And you have the earth, that the inhabitants of the earth, which, is, which are us. This is where we live. And God is in heaven. The word universe is not in the Bible. That word came from evolution that word came from agnostic and atheist people they did not come from the bible planets did not come from the bible jupiter saturn mars pluto and all the galaxies out there they are not biblical there's a reason why god gave us his word Jesus said, the word that I'm speaking to you, they are spirit and they are life. So if anything that you learn about is not biblical, there's some lies in it. The Bible said that the devil is the father of lies. Who lie to Eve? Now, if you go to Genesis 3, you see what it says? It says the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said unto the woman yeah had God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden so the devil is always there to twist the word of God so that he can make you and I sin and rebel against God's word now the topic that I'm talking about today is there's no such thing as planets there's no such thing as galaxies. There's no such thing as Mars, you, um, Pluto, Venus, all these planets that scientists have taught us in science and in school. It's all a lie. It is hogwash and it is a hoax. Nobody have landed into the moon. It is all a lie from the pit of hell. Now, the question people always ask me is, why would the devil lie to us why do you think he would lie to you now first of all think about this if god is far away from you then you won't even think that to have a relationship with god so when you say universe it's like a vast vacuum out in space that god is not reachable you cannot reach out to god you cannot call out on him okay but if heaven is right above us, when you look up the sky, God is very close. If you look at the book of Genesis chapter 11, when the whole earth was one with one language, the people of Babel, they put themselves together and said, one to another, go, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly and they had bricks for stones and slimes had they for mortar and they say go let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven even in the book of Babel they wanted to build a tower to go to heaven so if heaven wasn't was in space a vast space out there why would they said they want to reach out to heaven by building a high tower like the twin tower in new york city 
It's because heaven is not that far. But scientists, atheists, evolutionists came along and tell us that there's a big, vast space out there in the universe. And we have all these planets. And we have the sun, which is in the middle of a heliocentric universe that's burning like a big gas. Right? Where all the planets are going around it. And the earth is turning fast. You can't feel it. It's all a lie my friend nothing like that is described in the bible now if in the book of babel these people wanted to build a tower to reach out into heaven heaven is not that far from us heaven you're looking at it right above and above us is the sky and heaven is right above the sky it's not that far from you scientists have lied to you telling you that the sun, the moon is 95 million miles away. It's a lie from the pit of hell. It's not that far. You can look at the sun and the sun is not out in space. There's no space. The sun is in the firmament. The Bible call it. The sun is inside the closing system. The earth is a closing system. You cannot get out of the earth. You cannot go to space. You cannot go to the moon. There's no such thing. Everything is reachable right there. That's why, and it says in verse 5, God say, the Lord came down. He said, and they say, go let us build a tower to which heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And verse 5 says, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built, built it. Okay, verse 6. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Verse 7. And go to let us go down in there, confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. That's why God came down. Because the plan that they had was going to be successful. So if there was space, there's no way that they're going to build a tower that's going to go up in space. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's because heaven is not that far. That's why God came down to confound their language. That's why we have different languages around the world and everybody in every area speak a different language. And when God was creating the earth, it was only water in the closing system. We can't get out. And it's not a sphere. The earth is, is a plane. It's not a sphere. Now, if you go to Genesis chapter 1, starting in verse 6, it says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the water from, from heaven. All right? And God made the firmament and divide the waters. See, God made a firmament and divide the waters which were under the firmament. That's why we, we have water below us under the earth. If you go down the earth, you have water. That's why when somebody want to dig a well, they dig far down enough, they get water to come to their house. I have a well in my house. Okay? So the water went down, verse 7 says, under the firmament, God divided. There's water below. And it says, from the waters which were above the firmament. So there's a firmament above, which is the sky. And there's water also above the sky. I'm going to prove that to you in the Bible. If you go to Psalms 148, verse 4, it says, Praise him, you heavens of heavens. Heavens is where? Above us. And you waters that be above the heavens. I told you. There's water above the heaven. If there's water above heaven and there's water below us, where is space? And God never said he created space. He said, I created the heavens and the earth. God created two things, the heavens and the earth. Not space, not planet, not Pluto, not, not a Venus. I don't know those crazy names. Those names sounds like demons. They sounds like false gods. And the stars, they are not in space, my friend. It says, in God said, let there be light in the firmament of heaven. Not out of space, but in the firmament. 
The firmament is above us, my friend. You're looking at the sky. That's why it's always blue because there's water above us. God said, let there be the light where? In the firmament, not in space like scientists, fake science, pseudoscience says. And it says to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Amen. And verse 15 says, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens. That's why when you look up, you see the stars, you see the moon, and you see the sun in the firmament, not outside, in. What it says, let there be light for where? In the firmament, not out the firmament, in the firmament, which is inside. That's why you have light in your house, in your ceiling, inside of your car, not outside. Because there's no space. So let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. That's why God put the light up there to light shine upon us. Okay? And it was so. Now let's go to verse 16. It says what? And God made two great lights. What are the two great lights? You got the sun and you got the moon. Amen? The greater lights to rule the day which is the sun. Amen? And the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. It's not talking about planets. It's not talking about Pluto. It's not talking about Jupiter. It's not talking about Saturn. All these fake planets created by pseudosciences. Maybe they are Satanists working for the devil. But that's a lie. If it's a lie, God told us exactly what he has created. If anything else somebody add, it's a lie. Because this world belongs to God, not the devil, not scientists, not your government, not politician, not those people on TV that's claiming that they go to space. They are lying to you. That's why TV was created. Everything that they show you, it's only on TV. It's not reality. NASA is only on TV. It's not reality. Most of these pictures that they're showing you in space, they are not space. They call them CGI pictures. CGI, it's an automated computer thing that shows you things that looks real, but it's not. It's all fake. And the earth is not a sphere. It's not a ball. Water cannot curve. Water is not concave. You cannot bend water. Bend water. Water has to be level. It has to be flat. That's why when you're looking at the horizon, you're looking at the ocean, it's always level. It's always flat. It's not curved. There's no such thing as gravity. It's only a theory from, from, uh, from who, what's his name? Uh, Isaac Newton who created that theory. Most of these guys were Satanists. They were working with the devil. They were sleeping in the same bed. All these guys are liars. That's why their father is the devil. They pay him a lot of money to lie to us. So that's why we have the Bible, the word of God to tell us the truth. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the father, but by me. If you want truth, my friend, stop believing your television. Stop believing NASA. Stop believing your pseudoscience college professors. Believe the Bible. The word of God is above everything. Everything else shall pass away except the word of God. You better bank on it. I will throw my chips on the side of the word of God, not on the side of scientists, because these guys are mortal men. They will die someday. But God say, I am from yesterday, from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. And besides him, there is no other. So if you want to believe, if nobody else in the world believes you, stay on God's side. Believe God. Men are liars i'm telling you believe me when i tell you men are liars and they are wicked the bible said the heart of men is desperately wicked who can know it but god judges the heart men are liars they only lie NASA is nothing but the big billion dollar company that is lying to the whole world. And they, they are so serious about their lies. When you see these jets uh, about to deploy to go to space, it's all a show. It is not real. It is fiction. Science is only real on TV because that's where they can lie to your eyes. Read your Bible 
and believe the word of God. God only created what? Heavens and earth. That's it. Forget about everything that you have learned in science books. You have to unlearn everything from the world and believe the Bible, the word of God, the holy scriptures. Now I'm going to give you one last thing just to prove to you how scientists are liars. They are liars. Trust me when I tell you, I don't stutter. I don't even bite my lips to tell you that they are liars. Whew, they are liars. Let's go to the book of Joshua, the man of God, who, who uh, after Moses died, he was the minister of God. Now, there was a battle that uh, um, Israel was battling and uh and uh valley of uh let's go to matter of fact let's go to it real quick so here we go uh the then spake joshua to the lord in the days in the day when the lord delivered up the amorites before the children of israel and he said in the sight of israel son see joshua is praying right now because the sun was going down right while the sun was going down, they would not be able to finish the battle. So Joshua said, what? Son, stand thou still. Gibeon and thou, moon in the valley of Agilon. And the sun, verse 13, and the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon the enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher. So Joshua prayed to the Lord for the sun to stand still in the moon. Scientist says that the earth is moving, not the sun, not the moon. Who's lying? Scientist is lying, my friend. God cannot lie. Joshua prayed to God because Joshua, the man of God, knew that the sun was moving. Joshua, the man of God, knew that the moon was moving. You claim yourself a man of God, a woman of God, and you don't know that the earth is not moving? You letting the devil lie to you, two scientists? They could not lie to Joshua because Joshua was hanging with God who created the whole world. Okay? So he prayed to God and said, the sun stand still, moon stand still, because once the sun and the moon is gone, it's going to be dark. They can't finish the battle. And the sun stood the whole day, my friend. And he finished the battle. So that tells you it is the sun moving around in spiral. And the moon is also moving slower than the sun to light the earth. That's why God said in Genesis to put light upon the earth. That's what the sun is doing. That's the job of the sun. To go around the world and light. Sometimes when the sun is in the middle, when it's closer to us, it's summertime. Then as it goes, as the season changes... Guess what? It's going a little bit further away. That's why there's no such thing as um, cold. It's just an absence of heat. Because the sun is a little farther away from us, that's why it gets colder. That's why in some countries, it's always hot. Even though it doesn't get as cold, but they get a little bit of the sun away from them. It gets a little chilly at night. But guess what? It's always hot. They call them tropical countries. That's why people love to go there in Jamaica, in Haiti, in, in Santo Domingo to go to vacation. All right? The sun and the moon is moving, not the earth. Joshua never say for the earth to stop moving. It says for the sun and the moon to stop moving. I'm going to stop right there. This is very important too, guys. This is part of the word of God and is the truth of the word of God that to make you believe more in God, to have more faith in God. Amen. Build up your faith. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, make sure you guys uh, give me a like if you like this video. And um, share this with somebody else. And don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time in this channel. God bless.